Well, thank you so much for being here. If you love books that revolve around family and the love that you have for your family, you are going to love my next author. His name is Rob Marshall, and he's written the book called Paradise Broken. And it is heavy about family and love and relationships and all that comes with it, the ups and the downs. Rob, we're so glad that you're here today. Thank you very much, Suzanne. Lovely to be here. Um, Rob, why don't you start by sharing what the book is about? Um, the book's about three couples that have grown up since they're very young together, taking their families on their annual holidays and doing all these things that the kids have finally left and they're wondering what to do. Mm. So they decide to go on this, take take their wives and, and uh, Roger, who was another um, married, one of the girls, up the river to show them where... Um, the two main men in the group have always gone hunting and tramping and away up this big wild river and they're going to take them up there on horseback. And And the girls really thought that was pretty cool because they like riding the horses and they like the whole aspect of, you know, just getting into nature's magic and all that kind of thing, you know, so <laughs> that's That's, that's wonderful. I think those of us that are empty nesters that said, uh, you know, sent our children off and they launched years ago, we had to rediscover each other. We had to reconnect and find a new lens to see life through. And I love that, that, that yeah. they're finding the refinding friendship with each other and nature. I mean, I noticed yeah. that wildflowers is a big theme in your book throughout the whole book. What is the significance of wildflowers? Oh, the wildflowers, it sort of came, you know, I've always loved flowers, but um, the flowers came about because my dad, he used to always bring my mother flower, wildflowers from around the farm. And, mm. you know, um, when he brought them home, my mother was really good at highland dancing and she he would bring them in whether they're under his shirt or hidden under a jersey or whatever, and he'd surprise her with these wildflowers he'd picked up on the farm. And she had just burst into doing a Highland dance. It was only a 15-second little Highland dance around the kitchen or wherever we may be. But it was so great to see. And um, she knew all the sounds to make as she did it because she was very good at it. And then she just fall into his arms, and it was really lovely. And, and, and just <laughs> seeing the joy and love that came from those flowers, I thought it was just magic. So that's how the thing of the magic flowers in the book. But I believe all mad flowers are beautiful, but not all flowers are magic. They've got to have the scent to be the magic. <laughs> I I am so taken by the love that you have for family and friends. I Now it's making sense, the importance of relationships in your book. It's because of the people that you've had in your life. Yeah, I would think that's, that's right. And um. You know, and just it's just so lovely riding horses. I've always ridden horses ever since I was young, and riding those horses up the river and every corner you go around is just more of nature's magic. It's it's just a gorgeous thing to do, and especially up those big wild rivers because every corner's got a different scenery. You know, after you go around yeah. it, it's just awesome. So I think that's what really attracted them to go up there and see nature's magic. You seem like a very positive person and that it seems that nature is your place of peace. And that's yeah. a big theme in your book as well. Yeah, it is, Suzanne. It's just so beautiful out there and, you know, and, and just to be up there and enjoying it and seeing all the little intricate nature things up there that are really just, you couldn't see it and know it's there unless you were there to experience it, you know. And just the sunlight shining through those native trees and that. And the great people you meet up there. You know, I just met a guy from Florida up there. He's called Joe. He lives over in Florida there. And he was a submarine commander, he tells me. And we had some great chats around the campfire and that. It was just awesome. And he had a really nice Australian friend with him. But he would be in his late 60s and he walked all the way in there into that wilderness it would have been took him two days to walk in there i think he got lost <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh i hope he found his way back home to florida yeah he, he did i think 
So tell me, because I've never been to New Zealand before, and you have this beautiful accent, and you're painting a picture of native bush and the rivers and yeah. the landscape. Can you kind of paint that yeah. picture, describe it for me? In, in the North Island, the bush is really quite dense, but as you get down into the South Island, you've got more um, tussocky landscapes, mm -hmm. so you've got quite a contrast of um, native in New Zealand. And um, uh, yeah, and the, the, I, I really love the tussock country, but I also like the 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 big bush because it's got some really massive trees in there. It's just wonderful big trees, rimus and totra and, and trees like that. And, and when you talk, and the deer, I like them. <laughs> and, and what was that? <laughs> the pigs and the deer, I like them. <laughs> That's love. great. That's yeah. great. So I want to talk about the title, the fact that it's Paradise Broken. So we've painted this beautiful landscape picture. We've painted the picture of relationships, but yet it's Paradise Broken. Does that have yeah. to do with some of the relationships and what happens? Well, the campsite where the, the, the two main men in the book always went hunting, they called it their paradise because it had such a beautiful river and lovely native and it was just the perfect campsite. It was nicely elevated and had a big 30, 40 hectare sort of um, river corner in a river and grew a lot of beautiful river grass and that. So it was good for hunting. Mm -hmm. And um, so they call that their paradise. But on the way, when they're, they're all going up to paradise in their group, they could become across an ecological disaster starting to happen on their way up. And um, they try to remedy it, remedy it. And then tragedy really hits the group. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, there's, a, there's quite, quite a bit goes on there. <laughs> You know, it's it's so representative of what relationships really are. It's not all good. It's not all bad. It's the ups and downs. It's the waves. It's the motion. It's the ins and outs and how we handle that. And it sounds like you focus a lot on the relationships and everything they go through. Yes, yes. And, um, you know, and just the, um, the people being able to sustain that kind of thing up in there when tragedy really happens, you know, like, if you put yourself into that position, how would you cope? And, you know, and it's just how they all coped. And Did it make yeah. you think about how you would have coped? Yeah, it did. Uh, uh, <laughs> it does. It makes you think how you would cope. But uh, I, I think I would have managed. <laughs> how would you have fared? Um, I think I would have fared all right. I think so, yeah. It would have been tough, though, and, um, yeah. <laughs> Rob, what did you learn about yourself during the writing of this book? Um, yeah, well, it's um, – I, I learned that writing a book's not easy. <laughs> I can hear you say that for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just – I just started writing the book after work and just slowly worked on it over a, a period of quite a long time before it started to come together to get the inspiration to really get stuck in and finish it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it, you learn that, um, like I say, it's not easy. Right it's now. not easy. <laughs> There's a lot more to it than just having a great idea. So yeah. we're kind of wrapping up in the interview, but when somebody reads this, what do you want them to feel or think? I just want them to, um, you know, get a break from daily life and mm. get away into, um, you know, the wilderness and get their mind off that they can have a nice read. <laughs> yeah. 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 They can escape for a little while. Yeah, escape for a little while. Yeah. 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 Rob Marshall is with Book Trail Agency. We thank you so much. And Rob, can you tell us where to buy your book, where to find it? It's at Amazon and dot com. Okay. Very good, yeah. Rob. Thank you so much. I would yeah, love to come you and too. visit you sometime, you and your wife in New Zealand and see your beautiful land. But thank that you for describing awesome. it so well. That would be awesome. And um, you've got to come and see Queenstown. Consider it a deal. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Rob. Bless you. Have a great day. Same to you, Suzanne. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.